I hope you heard the, the truth of the hope that is found in Jesus Christ. But we live in a world that's kind of crazy. And unless you and I sink our teeth into and get a grip on and hang on for dear life to Genesis 1-1, nothing in this world makes sense. But if we understand that in the beginning, God, that he initiated it all, that he has a plan for us, and that his plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to, his plans to give you a hope in the future through his son, Jesus Christ. When we realize that, then we can have hope regardless of our circumstances or what's going on around us. Because we realize that our lives are hidden in Christ. So here's my prayer for every one of you. The, the Bible says this. The Bible says it's appointed for a man who wants to die and then comes the judgment. What does that mean? It means whether you go by the upper taker or the undertaker, you're still going to stand before your maker. It means every one of us are going to stand before God and give an account for our lives. That's a reality that's coming. And we don't hear about it enough. Because the mortality rate is still 100%. Every one of us has a day with faith where we cross over death's threshold. It's going to happen unless Jesus comes back in our lifetime. That's going to happen. Every one of us, me and you. And when I was a teenager, I, I never thought I would live to be this age. I didn't think about death at all. And sometimes we're forced to think about it because people we love are just gone. People our age and older. But we don't think about it too long. And we think about it affecting other people, but not necessarily ourselves. But the truth is, every one of us are going to stand before God and give an account for our lives. And my prayer for every one of you is that when that day happens for you, that before you can think of anything clever to say to God when he asks you why he should let you into heaven. I pray that before you can think of the, even the right answer, I pray that Jesus himself will come up and wrap his arms around you and give you one of those bear hugs and hold you close and say something about you to his father. Kind of like the title of this little song. Father, this one's with me.
Yeah.